good day everyone. Today we will be dealing with exciting gears which is FM4 and N5 mechanical techniques. So here we are given three gears. Gear A, B and C. Gear A with 80 teeth, gear B with 20 teeth and gear C with 40 teeth. And our arm which is arm B. So here we have a question which says that calculate the number of revolutions of gear C. So our first step is to draw this table. I've already drawn it so that uh, I save time because time is money. Okay, so we, after drawing this table, we are going to say our condition number one, which is our first condition, we are going to fix arm. Um, D and rotate gear A with one plus rev. Meaning that when we rotate gear A one plus rev, here we are going to rev plus one. So here we are going to rev our gear ratios, which is gear. Number of teeth of gear A over number of teeth of gear B. Also, as you can see here, when I rotate this clockwise, this gear A clockwise, this one is going to spin anti clockwise, and this one is going to spin clockwise. Also, take note of that. So, okay, number of teeth of gear A is 80 over anti clockwise. Our gear B is going to rotate clockwise, so it's going to be negative 20, which is going to be 80 over negative 20, which is going to give us what? It's going to give us negative 4. This negative represents the anti clockwise. So we come to gear C. When we come to gear C, we are going to use the very same procedure, but this time we are going to include gear C. So how do we include gear C? We are going to take our gear number of teeth of gear A over number of teeth of gear B. And by the way, this is called gear ratios. So this is going to be multiplied by number of teeth of gear B over number of teeth of gear C. So don't forget that when we rotate this gear clockwise, this one is going to turn anti-clockwise and this one is going to turn clockwise. So what is going to happen? We are going to take the number of teeth of gear A, which is 80, and number of teeth of gear B, which is going to be rotating anti-clockwise, which is going to be negative 20, multiplied by negative 20, which is the number of teeth of gear B, and then we're going to take the teeth of gear C, which is going to be rotating clockwise, which is 40. So after multiplying this, we are going to get 80 over negative 20 multiplied by negative 20 over 40 we are going to get our positive 2 which is on our clockwise direction so arm b since we fix arm b arm b is going to be zero arm b is going to be zero so we'll proceed to our second condition which is multiply by x and add y. So we're going to say x multiplied by y is going to be x and then we add y plus y. So we're going to say here x multiplied by negative 4 is going to be negative 4x and then plus y, we add y. And then here we're going to say 2 multiplied by x, which is going to be 2x. And then we'll add y 
which is going to be plus y. And then here we're going to say x multiplied by 0, which is 0. And then we'll add y, which is going to be plus y. And then this is our second condition. So here we are already given that uh, Na number of revolutions of their A is zero, and then Ng number of revolutions of Mg is one. Also, we are given that Na is going to be what? It's going to be negative ten, and then. Our second condition, our last condition is going to be n g is going to be plus what plus one. So we are done with our conditions. So here we are going to get zero, and then here is negative ten. And then D here is one. And then D here is also one. And then N A here is zero. So okay. The question reads as follows. Calculate the number of revolutions of their C. So after copying this information now, I want to go to calculations. I want to show you how we are going to calculate the number of revolutions of their C. So first of all, here we are going to equate our equation. We are going to equate our equations. We are going to find x and y. So when solving for x and y, here we are already given that x plus y equal to 0. So we're going to equate this x plus y and this 0. So we're going to say, find x and y. So we're going to solve for what? We're going to solve for x and y. So x plus y is equal to 0. That is our first step. But y equal to y. This y is equal to y. So I'm going to equate the two and then y equal to y. So when y equal to one, we're going to say x plus y equal to zero, which x equal to therefore x equal to minus y. So here we have our y which is equal to 1 and our x which is equal to negative 1. So now we are going to find the revolution, the number of revolutions of c. So here, when we come here, at this table, we can see that NC is here. We can see that 2x plus y equals to number of revolutions of the C, which is NC, which we are looking for. So, okay. We are going to equate this 2x plus y equals 2nc and then we solve for nc. So we are going to take our, our 2x plus y equals to nc. So this is going to be 2x plus y equals to nc. So we solve for nc. We already have our x which is negative 1. We already have our y which is 1. So we're going to say 
18 negative 1 plus y so we simply take this negative x and and okay so we simply take this negative one and put it where this x will just simply substitute with this x we'll put negative one with this y we'll put one this one so this is going to give us nc which is the number of revolutions of gas Okay, when we solve for this, it's going to give us negative 2 plus 1 equal to nc. Therefore, our final answer is going to be nc, which is number of revolutions of gear c, is going to be equal to negative 1 rev. This is on the anti clockwise direction because of the negative this negative represent simply represent the negative direction as simple as that so i hope you enjoy this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you